Want to know how to download EA Play games on Xbox Game Pass PC? You're about to find out. What's up, Fred Ricciani, TSC Gaming, your home for gaming news, reviews, and everything in between. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'm here to tell you guys how you can download EA Play games on Xbox Game Pass PC. If you're a Game Pass PC subscriber, you get EA Play. And if you're an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, you also get EA Play. Now, a quick refresher, EA Play is the Electronic Arts subscription service. That means that for a monthly fee, you can get EA Play. Now, the nice thing is it comes with Game Pass Ultimate and Game Pass PC, but there is some confusion on how to access these games on PC. There's a different step, whereas if you're on console, you just click Add to Library, Install, and you're good with Game Pass PC. A couple extra steps. So... First things first, you got to make sure you have the Xbox app on your PC. If it's not pre-installed on your Windows PC, you could download it via Xbox.com or the Microsoft Game Store. From there, you sign in, log in with your Xbox Live login, boom, and you're good to go. And from there, you would click the EA Play section, see the list of games, select a certain game, which is say, for this example, Crisis 3. But wait, you need another app. It'll connect you to download the EA desktop app, which is still in beta. You download that, you sign into your EA account and link your Xbox Live account, which really doesn't take that long, all things considered. And then once you click install, it'll bring up the EA desktop app. It'll show that Crisis 3 is installing. If you look at the Xbox app, it'll also show that Crisis 3 is installing and boom, you're good to go. Now, keep in mind, you might see some games listed as EA Play Pro. Those are games that are available for an additional fee with an upgraded EA Play account. If you just want to stick with regular EA Play, which personally I think is more than enough with your Ultimate subscription or your PC subscription, just keep that. But that's essentially how you download EA Play games on PC. It is kind of annoying in a sense that if you're opening it via the Xbox app, that it'll then open to the EA Desktop app, and then the game opens up itself, and ugh, it's like GOG with uh, Cyberpunk, and I don't know. It, it'd just be nice if everything was just kind of central and, and all that jazz. I will say that the EA Desktop app is okay, but when you're running, say, native Microsoft games via the Xbox app, I feel like it just runs so much smoother. Or if you're running something directly from Steam, it just runs so much smoother. But overall, hey, if you want EA Play games on PC with a Game Pass subscription, that's how you got to get them. So I hope this quick tutorial was helpful. If you'd like more tips, if you have any more questions, let me know. Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates like this. And until next time, everybody, as always, enjoy the games.